is pleasure, boom she pleasure Before you go out there and kill yourself, you want to make sure that you have the proper equipment and it's the perfect condition, okay, to attempt this new move, okay, they, because this move is a very nice move, but it's tricky and uh, you can get hurt really easy, especially, you know, when you're coming down like that, exposed to the water, it's a, a rib breaker, okay, especially when you're going to do those kite loops, okay, uh, so again, you need to pay attention and you need to you, uh, follow these steps, okay, so the first step is you want to make sure that you try this in light wind condition. When I say light wind condition, I mean 12 to maybe 60 knots. And me personally, I use the Screamer 14 and the Renegade 13 uh, for these kind of conditions uh, because they're very fast kite too. So you need a fast kite, okay? If you don't have a Screamer or Renegade, get another kite, but it has to be a fast turning kite, okay? Uh, now, I do it also in lighter wind from 7 to 12 knots maybe, but I use the Infinity light wind machine because that kite is very fast also, okay? Now, if the wind picks up and it's blowing like, let's say, 15 to 20 knots, then you want to use a smaller kite, okay? Like a 12 meter or even better, a 10 meter, depending how much you weigh, okay? So again, you have to be careful and you have to choose a perfect condition to do this move and also the right equipment, okay? Now we're ready. Let's do this. Okay, so let's start this move as a goofy stance, which is right foot forward and right hand forward. Then, in order to be fully powered while doing this move, you need to bring the stopper very close to you so the bar stays close to you while fully powered. Right now it's blowing 16 20 knots and I'm using a 12 meter kite. Okay, next step is to go toe side. So you jump toe side and right now you're looking for a chop to take off. Once you find a nice chop, Edge up wind and pop while throwing a forward roll by grabbing the nose of the board at the same time. And don't stop pulling the bar with your back hand for a cat loop while you're doing a roll. As you can see, you're pulling really hard the back hand so the kite can do a cat loop and then you redirect yourself for a transition. This is another view on how you edge up wind toe side to pop. And at the same time, you throw your body forward to grab the nose of the board while pulling your back hand for the kite to cat loop. And make sure to straighten your legs. Then once you're done with your first rotation, release your front hand, but concentrate on the landing and continue on pulling on your back hand. Then before touching the water, make sure to lean on your back leg while still pulling on the kite in order to make it a transition move. This is another view of how you grab the front of the board and stretch your legs while rotating forward. Then once rotating, release the grab and concentrate on the landing. You want to land downwind and lean back while you're pulling on your back hand so the kite can loop. And this is when you lean on your heels while pulling the back of your hand so the kite redirect and switch directions. Okay, so once again, we're gonna be going uh, as a goofy stance, which is your right foot forward and your left foot back. So you wanna make sure that you're gonna be pulling on your back hand, which is your left hand. But before that, you wanna bring the stopper really close to you so you have power while initiating this move. Then jump to a side. And now you wanna look for a pop and immediately edge up wind, okay? And at the same time, you pull your back hand when you're ready to edge and grab. Edge to a side and immediately pop, grab the front of the board while tweaking really hard and then release, look for the landing while pulling the back of your hand so the kite can can loop. Then switch directions and go the other way. Once again, it's very useful to have a stopper, okay? So you can always have the power of the kite while you're rotating. So you don't have to worry and you can control the kite with one hand. So then go to a side and immediately look for a chop, go up wind, Grab the front of the nose, tweak, make sure you're turning, rotating, and then there, release. Pull the back of the hand, okay, so the kite can do a kite loop, and land, and immediately lean on your back heel so you can switch directions and use it as a transition. Okay, now you turn to give it a try.
there's some storms around. <laughs> Can you see some? <laughs> Wait, because I can't see. All I see is blue sky. <laughs> Do you see something? 